Here are three tips to produce a far superior listing presentation to what you currently have. So you can list, sell, then leverage, and then list and sell more. Tip number one, make sure you have an agenda. And you can share the agenda up front with the client, or you can run through it with them. The basic items on the agenda should include things such as what the communication's gonna look like, what your team looks like, what the marketing's gonna be, how we present ourselves at Open for Inspection, how you're going to provide feedback to your client in terms of email, face-to-face -face meetings, WhatsApp group, SMS, etc. The second tip, in my opinion, would be high quality visuals. Most people are visceral people and they need to see visuals. Just you sitting down at a dining room table and talking is not enough. We've got to remember that communication comes down to 7% only being verbal. The rest of it is made up of body language and tonality. So verbal is a very small part of it. So having some type of high quality visuals, especially when people are investing five to 10,000 or 15,000 in marketing costs, then also investing in you and your team and your brand, it would be very remiss not to have some visuals around what your unique selling propositions are, what your brand produces and what the unique offerings of your brand is, whether it's an independent, or part of a large franchise, i.e. how many offices, how many people in the buyer database, how many agents within the office, how many web views do you receive. Also showing them examples of the marketing itself. Again, if I'm investing that type of money, I really wanna see high quality material. And my third tip would be to always ask for the business. It's insanity to conduct an amazing and comprehensive listing presentation that might go for one or two hours, but at the end, not to ask a simple question such as, is there any reason you can't put me to work tonight, Adrian, so I can start selling for you tomorrow? And then silence. That way, what you'll achieve is isolation and overcome. What I mean by that is the person, the vendor, in this particular case might say, well, Adrian, I'm still unsure about the marketing. Great, let's tackle marketing again. And then you ask the question again, is there any reason you can't put me to work tonight so I can start selling for you tomorrow? and they might come up with other objections. And frankly, if you don't know the answer to these objections, you don't deserve the business. So they're my three tips, and that'll help you list and sell more, and therefore leverage more, and get more sales, profile, and productivity.